Hello friends and enemies, welcome to the, mm, the, the all parts of July that are not documented in another vlog vlog. Um, I was looking at the calendar and I was like, oh shit, you're gonna have a bunch of books that you didn't even talk about in July. So here I am to open this vlog. Hello, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't know how much B-roll or anything this vlog is gonna have, but I'm gonna group it by book that I read probably, like with timestamps, similar to a current reads style update. Uh, and I'm just gonna update you as I read books. So today, we're starting Radiant Sun for the live show tomorrow. Yep, mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. So uh, Summerween's also happening and I'm reading Summerween books, so those won't be here, that'll be in the Summerween vlog that you will have already seen. But uh, I just want to say I'm reading Radiant Sun and it's my first time reading it, so I felt like I should document it in a vlog. So here we are. All right, I'm gonna go start that book and I will be back to talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm taking a break from cleaning for a minute while the floor dries from the mopping. I just don't like, I just want it to like fully settle. Anyways, I, how far am I in Radiant Sun? I'm 46% through Radiant Sun. And listen, I wanted to pause and talk to you, but I was in the zone, so I did not. But the current thoughts, I am obsessed with these two. I love them. I love the setup so much. I love the reveals we've gotten about Hermes. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to read freaking Cruel Seduction. Uh, which I will probably read in August now, like for the live show. I'm probably going to read it ahead because I did get a uh, digital arc of it. And I have a digital arc of freaking Midnight Rain. So I just, listen, right now I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Like immensely enjoying this. Great book to clean too. So that's my update right now. <laughs> I don't have a ton of thoughts beyond that, but I'm obsessed with the two of them so, so much. Hi. So I realized I forgot to come update you when I finished uh, Radiant Sun. And it's a been a few days. <laughs> and I was editing because I'm trying to edit this as I go a little bit and realized, oh my god, I never came back. So Radiant Sun podcast episode's up if you're curious. And also, I really liked it. I'm giving it like a four because here's the thing. It, the podcast episode, like, we talked a lot about it, obviously, and some of the situations going on with it, um, and how we maybe couldn't get the resolution some of us wanted due to the fact that it's happening, perhaps in parallel with the next book, Cruel Seduction. So there's that. I think this one had a lot of really good political intrigue and reveals around the politics of the world and the world happenings. I really liked Apollo and Cassandra's relationship. I think it worked phenomenally well. I'm unsurprised though. I feel like Katie manages to handle things that I am not always the biggest fan of often really, really well. So yeah, I'm giving it like a four. I'm really, really excited to read Cruel Seduction next month for the podcast in September. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm just excited currently. So we'll take it. It's a win. The other thing I have to talk to you about is that I may or may not have stayed up till 3 30 in the morning last night reading Sinbin by Tegan Hunter spectacular I I love I love the Carolina Comets series I really think it's a really really good hockey series I feel like the tropes are all very different but same like it gives me the same vibe of hockey romances with like tropes that feel very unique and different so I appreciate that immensely I cannot believe one that I stay up listen, I keep making this big mistake with Tegan Hunter. I keep starting her books late at night, like before bed, and then I don't sleep. And it's a mistake. Not because they're bad, but because I need sleep. <laughs> like, I really do need sleep. Um, but, but, y'all, I'm really, really excited to read uh, Scoring Chance, whatever the next one is. I'm honestly going to be starting soon. But Sinbin follows uh, Amelia, who is a new social media employee at the, at, um, what do you call it? At the Carolina Comets. <laughs> and Owen Smith, who is a player. He's 10 years older than her when they meet. She's 26, he's 36. And for two years, they have resisted each other after their one hookup slash weekend of intense but neither one has moved on from that weekend and I love a we can't I can't move on from this because it was too good situation <laughs> but also also she ends up having to do a profile on him 
and getting a promotion. And the way the third act worked, I was okay with because it was pretty quick how it played out. And that, that works for me if it's a third act breakup and it's quick. He had a great grovel slash like come back to me scene. That It was fun. It was very cute. And um, yeah, I just love it so much. And I need, uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm just going to finish the series this month. I will have read four of them in a month. <laughs> That's how much I enjoy these. But also, like, then I'm just waiting for September when her next hockey series starts. But I might go back eventually and read her baseball series. Because some of those characters show up in this. But yeah, we follow the relationship. It is explosive. It is sexy as hell. This had some great kink in it that I really enjoyed. Um, as far as, like, a bit of a... It, not, like, fully dom sub relationship but like he um it just incorporated kink in a really nice way that wasn't like it being full-on like dom sub does that make sense i hope that makes sense to people uh and i feel like a lot of tegan's books do that nicely and i really do enjoy that element of it it feels very like real i just had such a blast and i absolutely loved this book so uh if you haven't picked up the series you really should I am just, uh, and what a good setup. I love how we hooked up and oh, should I work with you? And then the like, we can't be together because Apollo, oh, so good, so good. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I think this is really fun. And the fact that book two follows Miller, who is a virgin hero, y'all, I'm so excited, so excited. I adore him in every book. He makes me laugh so hard in every book I've read, so I just can't wait to watch him uh, make a mess of himself over Scout. So I'm excited. I'm honestly probably going to dive into that next. So yeah, I'm going to start cleaning though and pick an audio. I'll talk to you soon. been organizing a lot <laughs> in here today but look the gaming computer is up here I don't have power cords I don't know where the power cords are yet <laughs> I'm hoping to find them but that's not the point of the smog update the point of the smog update is that I started scoring <laughs> chance. I started scoring chance um the the last book I have to read in the Carolina comments because I did. I don't know. I just did. And I was like, here we are reading this. Um, I already really like it. I'm only about 10% or so in, but I really, really like uh, Grady. Our virgin hero here is really fun so far. And his like getting his story, like we've seen him a lot in the books previous because he's been the rookie and kind of an adorable mess, we'll call it, because <laughs> he's definitely an adorable mess. And he flubs it so bad at the end of the last book with Scout, who runs the donut and coffee shop, that he's, like, trying to make up to her. And, like, she's not having it. It's a whole thing. And it's very cute. This is the very beginning of the book. But he's determined to make her be his friend. And he just has, like, puppy energy. And it's really, really cute. He would exhaust me in real life. But uh, reading about him, precious sweet bean. So... Uh, I'm loving it and I will be back to update you in the morning when I finish it <laughs> because that's more than likely what's going to happen. I'm going to be up most of the night reading it and then pass out. <laughs> so I'm debuting the new hair right now that is like not styled in any capacity because I did not have the energy today to restyle it. But I am 45% through scoring change and I didn't, so I knew it was a virgin hair, but I also didn't know it was an older woman, younger man. She's 28, he's 24. I love it. I love it so much. 
Uh, I just want to note that, like, I've always enjoyed Miller in the other books. And I think I like him even more now as I'm reading this one. He's just such a sweetie. And he means so well. And it's so cute. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm 45% and I'll be done tonight. And I can't wait. I keep putting off finishing this because, like, I don't want to be done. That's the best way I can put it. I don't want to be done with the series, but... I got the email today for ARCs for the new series, so I requested that. Fingers freaking crossed, y'all. But um, hopefully I get that, and then, you know, I will feel less sad because I'll have her new series to read. Uh, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm not, like, ready to say goodbye, but I'm also, like, really want to see where this goes. But um, So you'll get that at some point. But it's like pouring rain right now, and I'm just vibing here reading. I'm just enjoying the ambiance in reading, and it's so nice. Also, I'm enjoying my hair being chopped off. Now, we don't have like a French bob by any means, but we have like a shoulder skimming bob, and it's so nice. And then we have like curtain E esque bangs. Um, I tried to sit home today, it was not going well, and I just was like, we're not, we're not doing this right now, so. Tomorrow I'll wash it and you'll see it styled probably in some kind of video at some point, but God, I missed my short hair, y'all. Um, I let it go for way too long, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go keep reading this book and I'll update you when I finish it. Okay. So I woke up to rain this morning and just, oh my gosh, I've been so peacefully here. Um, I have to update you though, cause I finished another book and I have a Millie, no free feet. There we go. There's a Millie who is covered in hives, so we're calling the vet in a little bit. I want the rain to pass because I really don't feel like uh, loading her up. She's not scratching or anything. She's just covered in hives. So, updates. Updates! I finished Scoring Chance. Four stars. Maybe four and a half. Maybe five. This is in my top three or four for this series. I'm not sure if it's top three or not yet. I have to think on it. This was such a cute virgin hero. There are some great Princess Diaries references in this that had me giggling so much. Um, I also just was thrilled. I mean, honestly, it just was a good time. It ended well. I didn't love the third act as always, not as always, but like the third act in this one frustrated me a little. I'm not going to lie to you and say it didn't. So that's part of my uns un unsureness on the rating, but still loved it. Still loved Miller, loved Scout. And I loved getting to see, it was kind of fun how I read these out of order because I feel like the reveals in this one were really funny to see for the books I've already read up ahead. So that was fun. But yeah, I just a good time, you know? I just, I had a good time. And now I'm in like book limbo kind of, but also I started an audio uh, that's short. So I started The Honeymoon Crashers by Christina Lauren because this is like the 1.5 after the Unhoneymooners. And I'm enjoying this so far actually i think this is really cute i didn't hate the unhoneymooners like a lot of people did so i mean i thought it was fine but this has been a really cute audio it's short which is part of why i picked it up because you know i've got two i've got today and tomorrow of reading until the readathon starts so i don't want to be in the middle of anything really when the 24 ish kicks off because i want to start fresh there and pick a new book so that's the plan um, I'm really excited for it. But yeah, I'm going to call the vet here in a minute to see when I can get Millie in to have her little bumpies looked at. I feel so bad. Uh, they popped up real bad last night and then just like have not gone down since. So I feel like I do have to call. I mean, obviously, like I'm not going to let my baby sit here and be miserable and pain or itchiness. But yeah, uh, her behavior is the same though. So that's part of it too. I'm like, I don't know, you know, I'm just not sure. But yeah. Uh, that's what's going on right now. This vlog will pause during the 24-ish and then I'll return on Sunday. Okay, so uh, we are space bunned unevenly. I'm gonna have to try and fix that before I film in a minute, but I did finish the Honeymoon Crashers while I got ready to film real quick. Um, quick updates on that because that was a thing I did. So, Honeymoon Crashers. I really liked it. I, again, I liked the Honeymooner or the Unhoneymooners or whatever. But I actually enjoyed this even more, I think. This was not as fade to black as I recall previous Christina Lauren's that I've read in recent years being. So that was a nice change of pace for me. Because I kind of haven't picked them up lately. Because I just, I don't hate fade to black. I just have to be in the mood for it. And I've not been in the mood for it, you know? I just want 
unhinged filth. But um, I was just playing with my computer and like monitor swapping and stuff. It's, I'm such a dork. I'm sorry. Like no one cares. But either way, I'm getting a can of air tonight so I can dust that bad boy because it's nasty inside. But I'm also, I think I'm getting new monitors um, for my birthday this year. I think I'm going to get an ultra wide. So I just have one big monitor and then I can switch between my PC and my Mac easier. Using my noggin here for a minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to be sure that the adapter I bought worked, and it does. So now I'm going to film tomorrow's video and edit that real quick. I'm on it, obviously. Uh, but either way, I am so excited because I just really enjoyed this book. I think it was a solid four star. I think it was really fun. I really liked Olive, or not Olive, Olive's twin getting her moment after the first book. And also kind of seeing how things have caught up with the bad guy. Although I will say, we did like body shame a lot for his, like being part of his actions for why. Like he's a chubbier guy now and not aging well. But I do feel like people who are sour milk in life do age like sour milk. So like accurate, but also like, you know, a whole thing. Anyways, did that. Really liked it. I am uh, happy I read it. That's all I really got. It's no, nothing big, nothing big to say about it. I think it's a fun, quick novella. Grab it from your library if you're curious. Um, I definitely giggled at it a lot, so that was nice. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go film. Okay, I have to update this vlog because I have it and the 24 hours over and I did finish a book uh, since then. So I finished my members pick for June because I was behind. It's been a whole thing. Um, centered glass and I just want to quickly like tell you all about it because I think it would appeal to a lot of people this is a wide shoes fantasy romance fae based Cinderella inspired and listen delivers on all fronts okay it delivers I really liked this I ended up giving it a four let me actually like not cover the thing the whole time um, I'm giving it a four and I'm really excited for more in this world. I think this is a really strong debut. If you are looking for, like, this is going to be on some reckless, okay? Like, there's a wide shoes rec video coming and this is on the list. Like, there's no other choice. <laughs> so, if you wanted to pick this up or you've seen it and you've thought about it, I do think it's worth it. I think, obviously, read the content notes. Um, I would say the biggest one on that list to be aware of is obviously bullying <laughs> from family because it's cinderella inspired but uh also sexual assault there's definitely some sexual assault on page N one to our main character and one to her sister so know that going in but otherwise honestly pretty damn good uh this has four love interests we have the prince we have the blacksmith we have a fey being and we have another magical being that enters the party so I really enjoyed this. I think it was really fun. I think it did a great job balancing romance and spice and fantasy plot. Like it had the right mix. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do pick it up. The other thing I have continued to read the moonlit dance by Zoe Abrams. Finally, I was already like 20% in and my goal is to finish it before the end of this month. I had to take a break when I was visiting family because one of the names in the book is like a family member's name. And that was weird to like see them and read. It just didn't work for me. So <laughs> I am getting back to this and so far the little bit I've read of it like since then I've been enjoyed and I'm hoping to finish it up soon so that'll be the next book I update you on hello I'm here to close this vlog out because it's August 1st and the other vlogs started but I finished one more book last night which was taking on the billionaire this was my members pick for the month of July and I enjoyed it a good bit for having tropes I don't normally love like accidental pregnancy but I just wanted to update it here real quick before we close this out and uh yeah I think if you're looking for a indigenous author uh to read this is a great option I would like to read the next book in the series our hero is indigenous and is ripped away from his family as a child and like him and his two siblings like he, there's three of them total but they're all kind of separated and it kind of goes into the harm of losing that connection to your culture and to your family can have when these things happen and i thought that was really well done and in enjoyable to read i guess we'll call it i think it worked really well uh the dynamic of the secret pregnancy worked okay for me not secret pregnancy accidental pregnancy worked okay for me because there was a thing she had to do and i was like oh no i know what this is leading to and it was a very real thing that happens to people so it felt okay to read it's just like again not my favorite trope 
but I did really like the dynamic of Tess and Adam. I think they were a fun couple together. I think they were adorable. And we end on a note where we get like a sprinkle for the next book about his other co-worker, co-founder, like co-owner, Justin, and his somebody else. I don't want to tell you who uh, that we met in this book. And I was like, ooh, ooh, I need to know. So I do plan to hopefully pick that up sooner than later. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. That's that's what I have read since the end of July. Uh, if you hung out and watched this vlog, let me know what you loved that you read in July. I'll be back with my highlights and uh, surprises, lows, all that fun stuff, as well as stats uh, very soon for July. And I will also be back with a hockey update for the fact that, um, you know, the whole explosion that happened with Book Talk. I'll, I'll be doing an update on that. Don't worry. Um, on that note, on that note, uh, if you don't want to do any of that, you can leave me a sleepy emoji because, oh my gosh. Have y'all seen a more tired Millie? She's out <laughs> like a rock. But uh, you can do that down below. And I will be back in just a few days in the next video. Bye, y'all. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for